Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. In a circle, a pentagon is inscribed. Opposite vertex A is side A. We'll use this convention to label the entire pentagon A, B, C, D, E. Draw side B, D and C, A. Show that side A divided by the sine of angle B plus angle E is equal to side D divided by the sine of angle C plus angle E. Like in the sine rule, the vertex name represents the angle at that vertex. This question was asked in the 2019 HSC Extension 2 Mathematics exam, question 16, part C. It was the last question in a test given to year 12 students in Australia who are about 16 to 18 years old. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. There's a lot going on in the diagram, so let's focus on triangle BCD. By Altusi's law of sines, side A divided by the sine of the opposite angle, CBD, is equal to side E divided by its opposite angle, BDC. We have a similar equation in triangle ABC. Side D divided by its opposite angle is equal to side E divided by its opposite angle. Let's now take a look at these two equations. We're going to notice something that relates them. In particular, angle BAC is an inscribed angle of arc BC, and angle BDC is an inscribed angle of the same arc. Therefore, these two angles are equal to each other because they're inscribed angles of the same arc. We'll make this substitution in this equation, and therefore, the right-hand sides will be equal to each other. We thus can equate the left-hand sides of these equations. This is quite similar to what we need to prove, but we need to change the angles in the denominators. So let's consider quadrilateral ABDE. Angle ABD plus angle E is equal to 180 degrees. This is because opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. You could just cite this on the exam, but if you've never seen it, let me show you a quick proof. We'll consider the arcs of these inscribed angles. Here we have one arc, and the inscribed angle will be half its measure. Angle E will be half the measure of ABD. Now we will add these angles together and half the measure of these arcs. But the total measure of these arcs together will be equal to 360 degrees because they span the entire circle. When we make that substitution and then divide by 2, we get that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. We subtract angle E from both sides, and we get the equation that we want. Now we can do a similar sort of thing in this cyclic quadrilateral. Angle ACD will be equal to 180 degrees minus E. That's because opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. So how does this help us derive what we need to get? Well, angle CBD is equal to B minus angle ABD. We substitute in what we derived, and then we simplify this equation. We then take the sine of both sides. You use the sum of angles identity to get the sine of theta plus 180 degrees will be negative sine of theta. Therefore, the left-hand side is negative sine of angle CBD. Now we will derive a similar equation from the cyclic quadrilateral ACDE. Angle ACB is equal to C minus angle ACD. We then substitute in what we derived, and then simplify this equation, take the sine of both sides, then use the sum formula, so the left-hand side becomes negative sine of angle ACB. We're almost there. We multiply the top equation by negative 1 on both sides. We then substitute in what we derived, and we get what we need to show. And that's going to be it, QED. I think this was an incredible question because you really have to know your geometry and trigonometry to get the final proof. Thanks for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. As always, thanks for watching and thanks for your support.